Welcome to learn about time and work and we are going to learn about one of the questions from time and work that is given here and the question is A can finish a work in 8 hours, B and C together can finish it in 6 hours while A and C together can finish it in 4 hours. Then how long will B alone take to finish it? In the questions we have given that A can finish the work in 8 hours, B and C together can finish the work in 6 hours. A and C together can finish the work in 4 hours. Then we have to find how long will B take to finish the work. Now if you notice these are statements. This is first statement A can finish the work in 8 hours. This is a statement. This is first statement. This is second statement and this is third statement. Now using these statements we have to find how long will B take to finish the work. Now if you focus we have letters in these statements. In first statement we have letter A. In second statement we have letters B and C. In third statement we have letters A and C. Now I write these letters B and C from second statement here. You see we have letters B and C from second statement here. That is I have written B and C as B plus C. Now, now the next letter A from first statement I have written here and the next letters A and C from third statement I have written here A plus C. Now I have written all the letters from all the statements. From second statement we have B and C B plus C. From first statement we have A. I have written here A. And from third statement we have A and C. I have written here A, A plus C. Now in the question we have to find the how long will B take to finish the work. You see we have to find this statement. And if you notice in this statement we have letter only B. We have only B as letter. So in these all these letters we only need to find B. We only need B. We don't need A and C. So what we will do is I will write or I will put plus sign here and minus sign here. Now if you notice these letters A plus C will be cancelled out from these A plus C. I repeat this A plus C will cancel out this A plus C because these have plus sign and these have these A plus C have minus sign. So these A plus C will be cancelled out by these A plus C and we will have only B. So I can say that by uh, performing some addition or subtraction operations on these we can find B. But the problem is we cannot perform addition or subtraction operations on these statements. We need, a, uh, we need some other statements in other form so that we can perform addition and subtraction operations. But on these statements we cannot perform these addition and subtraction operations. So what we need to do is we have to convert or transform these statements in other form on which I can perform addition and subtraction operations. So for, uh, for converting these statements we will take help of rule number one of time and work. Now. The rule number one of time and work says that if man A finishes a work in n days then work done by A in one day will be 1 by n. You see we have to do the reciprocal of these n days and we will get 1 by n work. So the rule number one says that if man A finishes a work in n days then in one day work done by A will be 1 by n. So by using this first rule we can say that if A can finish the work in 8 hours then work done by A in 1 hour will be 1 by 8. You see I have done the reciprocal of these 8 hours and I will get 1 by 8. This is the amount of work done by A in 1 hour. Now similarly if B and C finish the work in 6 hours then work done by B and C in 1 hour will be 1 by 6. Similarly if A and C finish the work in 4 hours then work done by A and C in 1 hour will be 1 by 4. Now we have converted 
these three statements in the other form and now we can perform addition and subtractions operations on these statements so now again we focus on the letters in these statements now first of all uh, we focus on these letters we have in the second statement we have b and c i write b and c here can you see okay now i write these b and c letters from second statement here okay now in from first statement we have letter a and i have written here a now notice here that b plus c has a value on the other side that is 1 by 6 so i have written the value of b plus c on the other side that is 1 by 6 and i have written this letter on this side and the value of a is 1 by 8 so i have written the value of a is 1 by 8 on the other side now we have letters a plus c from third statement so i have written these a plus c here and its value is 1 by 4 and its value i have written on the other side that is 1 by 4 now notice here that we need to find how long will b to take will b take to finish the work so we need only b we don't need a and c so what i do next is i will put plus sign here and i will put minus sign here and because i am putting plus sign on the front of a you see i am putting plus sign along a so i will put similarly i will put the plus sign along the value of a and because i have put minus sign along or in front of a plus c so i will put the minus sign in front of its value here a plus c value of a plus c is 1 by 4 so i will put minus sign in front of its value now if you see if you notice here this a plus c will be cancelled out by this a plus c and we will have only b and if you solve this then we will get 1 by 24 now we have got the value of b that is 1 by 24 now uh, we convert this value of b into statement and we can write work done by b in one hour that is 1 by 24 we have converted the this value of b into statement so work done by b in one hour is 1 by 24 now now we will take help of rule number 2 of time and work the rule number 2 of time and work says that if in one day work done by a is 1 by n then a will finish the work in n days you see we have to do the reciprocal of this 1 by n work and we will get n days okay so rule number 2 says that if in one day work done by a is 1 by n then a will finish the work in n days so here we can say that if work done by b in one hour is 1 by 24 then b will finish the work in 24 hours and that is our answer i hope you have understood thanks for watching